Greetings everyone. Today is April 6th of 23. This is Hardy Chicago. I call it Hardy Chicago number one since it is the oldest tree that I have, uh, 12 years old. This will be its 13th season. And uh, I up added this tree last year, December 6th of 22, into this 10 gallon grow bag. And every time uh, during up potting, and if the roots are pruned, it is desirable for the top. Also, the branches are pruned at the same time, or in this case, just before the season starts, to balance those roots system. In a case that you do not prune the tree, there will be just uh, not enough roots to support the proper growth of these new shoots on the following season. I'm going to just stand now next to this tree so you can see and reference the size compared to me. I'm 5'8", by the way. So you can see that it's much larger than what the trees are looking these days in the basement that I have. These trees now are with a straight trunk just like this. However, they only have three branches mostly. Open center three branch system or form, sometimes four. Four branch can also work really well. And by the way, when I also mention uh, how many branches and which form to prune, I'm just showing you what I do and then you can decide if this will work for you. Uh, the reason I'm pruning it that way now is because I give my trees a head start and uh, that is downstairs in my basement. So I have to take these trees downstairs through the door that's 32 inches wide, I believe. And this tree at this point is just too big and too heavy for me to do so. And it's uh, it stayed the, the whole winter outside in a shed. So that's why it doesn't have the growth as the other trees. However, it's also pretty early variety and it will have uh, fruit uh, and uh, ripen fruit this year. Anyhow, um, this tree, particular tree has, uh, and I'm going to count here, three branches, three scaffolds at the bottom, three midsection, and then three on the top. So nine branches, nine scaffolds. Much different than with the trees that I'm looking from um, to have a what kind of form. And uh, obviously I did not know in the beginning um, of the problems that I can face. Uh, when having this tree of this size. But this can work really well, as you can see. You know, you don't have to have a, a, you know, three or four or five branches. You can have even bigger tree like this. And even preferably so, I would prefer that these branches here in the midsection, midsection have more space between them. And I will explain you maybe when I turn this tree around. Uh, what I did um, um, in my previous years, and especially 2019-20, I would turn my tree like this and exp why? Uh, because I'm in Michigan in northern side, northern hemisphere, we have a sun that's on a uh, angle rising from east to west and so imagine the sun shining on this side here. All of this foliage that's on one side will shade this foliage, these branches in the back. So what I did was I would just turn the tree in the morning I will bring it on a driveway and then during the day if I was here actually there was a time when we were home so I would just uh, turn the tree around to expose all of the sides with sun and that year I was able to to ripen properly every fig 154 maybe uh, figs on this tree so just a tip for someone who doesn't have uh, maybe as much sun, uh, you can place it on a dolly and just uh, wheel it to the driveway or any other area uh, that you have around home. Um, I'm gonna do, just take my camera now closer and so we can take a look now at my approach uh, for pruning. First, I'm gonna just explain again how the fig trees are um, fruiting and this is a common fig so produces the fruit on the previous year growth 
previous year growth is always the last branch that grew last season. So if you look at this branch right there, a particular branch right here, let's say that this branch here grew in one year, that was four years ago, this is even older than four years, and produced fruits uh, on uh, every leaf node, let's say. That year, at the end of the season, I pruned it right there, after the first or second node maybe. And the new branch from that node, the next season produced a new branch that was a fruiting branch. And then after that season was over, I pruned it now, well, you can see maybe one, two nodes. This is third node on this small branch right there. And then again, the system just repeats each, itself. From this branch, this node, this branch grew and produced fruits. End of the season, I pruned it, and now it's again this season, uh, previous season, this branch had fruits here, 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 here. And every node pretty much produces fruit. So if we just repeat this process over and over again, after four, five, six years, these branches will elongate. It will become much bigger. For that reason, every once in a while, you will have to prune these branches back and start the process again. Uh, sometimes the tree will produce a new shoot on an older branch. It's very rare, but it's, it's possible. But uh, if we want to stimulate a production or, or growth of the new shoot, usually what we need to is to prune. So at this point, I think I'm going to just repeat this process of um, pruning again. But in my future years, maybe the year next season, I can prune the branch maybe right here and then promote branch, new branch here and there. Or maybe prune it here and then promote branch in right there maybe. Remove all of these branches. And that can be done in stages so that you still have uh, production on some branches, but uh, not to lose on a fruit that year. Hopefully that was clear. If you did not understand, I can explain again maybe in my next video. But when I prune, I look at the branches that are facing first uh, towards the trunk. The, this is the interior section. I want my branches to face outward. So for example, this small branch right there, it's a small branch, but it's facing this towards the, the center. So this one can be removed. The only thing is, I see a node right there, and I will prune it, let's see, right there, just so I can stimulate this bud right there. This branch from last year is the one that will produce fruit. So this year, I'm going to just look for, for from this node right there. I want to make sure that you can follow what I'm talking about. All right. So this year, this is the last year growth, this branch right there. And I'm going to wait, I'm going to leave only one node right there. There is one node at the base right there. So even if I prune it right here, I will have a pruning branch right there. But let me just show you here example. I'm going to prune it right there. Okay. And this year, a new shoot will form from this node right there. It will grow like this. And it will produce fruit at each node where these uh, leaves will grow. So there is a, as you can see here, there is a uh, scar from the leaf petiole. This call it, they call it smiley face because it looks like a smiley face. And right next to it will be a fruit growing. So this is a fruiting branch for this season, right there, from this node and possibly from the node underneath. This branch also, a very small branch on the, on the back, is also going to produce a fruit. However, at this point, I'm going to just remove this again. I like to give this tree a break since it was really pruned hard last uh, season. Now, let me just go from on this branch here, this branch grows. This is the last year growth right there from here to here. And I can just leave only one node right there. Again, 
it will produce shoot from here like that and it will be a fruiting branch and now on this side again this is a last year growth that produced fruit and I see some breba here on my hardy Chicago when I keep them indoor the breba usually do, don't doesn't hold it, it drops so I can possibly leave this let me just check to see if I have any more I have it at the top so I'm gonna just rejuvenate this branch again I will prune it right here and I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch of uh, stub right after a node and again from this last year branch new shoot will grow like this and this will be a fruiting branch for this year this season 23 now let me just turn the tree around okay now this section gets becomes more crowded now you can also see that I did uh, use wire to bring these branches together and they, and they form the curvature here and now I can remove this and let's see what's gonna happen actually I'm gonna try to untie and see okay it's been already now three years that these branches were brought together like this so they are set now in position some of these have a bonsai wire all right now again let's take a look at the branches they are crossing each other and growing inwards those are the ones that are really obvious this branch right here at the beginning it is cl too close to the trunk and it grows into this branch right there it has one small shoot right there it's small branch let's see also this one here this one is more obvious I'm gonna remove this one first but let's see yes all right I'm gonna leave uh, just one node on that branch right there a small branch this small shoot right there I'm gonna remove I don't need this anymore uh, leaves to crowd this space here I need the airflow to again here I'm gonna just clean this up this is a last year growth right there I have a node right there at the bottom and that's exactly what I'm gonna prune about a quarter of an inch or so above this is a very small branch that has very tight nodes right here internodes are very close I will predict that this will not grow any much uh, longer very very little growth and it will produce fruit there so I will leave that this branch at the back grows towards Let's see the trunk I will remove this one completely now I'm looking at this branch this is the last year grow I'm always looking now what's the last year grow so the the fruit will be produced on last year growth however this is a very weak branch I'm not expecting much fruit to be produced on this branch anyways there is a nice bud right there very plump I'm gonna just prune it right there and this will be a new branch growing in this way I'm gonna clean also branch there actually also this small branch it grows into this branch right there I will remove this one also completely actually just leaving a stub in a case that I would need a, a bud from a shoot growing from here now if I want to completely rejuvenate this tree I can just prune it let's say right here there is a nodes there is node right there this branch right there obviously you can hear or even there I can see even here 
so the new branches new shoots will be formed from here and I can start this process again around in this branch here again this branch is weak and grows into that this is a small branch that grows downwards it doesn't really bother anyone much I'm gonna just do this and that's it all right let's now move to the third branch right there again this is branch that grows into that branch next to it and it's a weak branch but I will prune it just at the base same the one on the top last year growth and it has breba right there just want to show you up close so even closer hope you can see this not sure if it's picking up but that's breba right there grown on a previous year growth again I'm just gonna make sure that I have I have a brave on the tops so I don't need this uh, brave anymore I'm looking for a main crop and also I want to give this tree a nice break again this branch on the bottom this was a growth from last year there is a node right there this is a node that I'm looking for And now I'm just even deciding whether I should even keep this. I think I can keep it since it doesn't bother anyone. But on the other side, let's see. I'm going to keep it for now. Let's take a look here. This branch is between these two. And it's crowding the space right there. I will remove this one. and even this right there there is a node right there I can train it to go this way and same here we had really little growth on this side here this branch was from last year let's see if I can rejuvenate the growth okay I'm gonna remove this branch and promote let's see there is a node right there you can see the nodes by these lines when you have a whole line circled around the branch that's a node basically you can recognize it that way and even here and that would be this, the first scaffold of the first first bottom level only thing that I'm now not sure is about this branch that I trained to grow a little bit downwards so I'm gonna remove the wire and see where the nodes are By the way, I would not wire this point and uh, do anything heavier or bending because they are fragile at this point. Okay. I'm not really happy the way that it grows upward. Obviously, going downwards will be better. So maybe I can just uh, train it to go this way. And for that, let me see nope I'm gonna prune right at the base to promote the shoot growing from here and now I'm gonna look even closer ok 
okay not really liking that um, that branch that grows straight there okay so for that reason I'm gonna prune it even more heavier hopefully something will develop here on this small branch right there okay let's go now at a second tier second level this branch here was uh, now in its third year one two three there was a branch uh, here actually was really that I took I believe so it grew I replaced it with this branch right there and again this is the last year growth and I will just want to make sure that you can see this clearly yes I will just leave one node right there there is a small node right there that started growing last year I can leave that for now again this is uh, last year growth and I'm not really worried that much about this tree not being productive as much uh, this season I'm gonna give them a break you know every once in a while so it did produce a lot for me let me just move it sometimes you have to think uh, about uh, trees health too and not just worrying too much about uh, being productive all the time all right this one also had a wire i'm going to keep it for now let's take a look on this side here there is a branch growing inward so i will remove that one this is a last year growth right here and again there is a note at the bottom one here this branch is growing between these two it's crowding the space at this point i'm just leaving only one node at the base this small branches can produce fruit there but they're not going to grow much same here this will be removed this is last year growth and again i'm gonna just leave one node and the third Again, this branch is growing into this branch next to it, so it will be pruned. Same thing here. I'm going to leave two nodes in this case. These are small branches. Let's see. and uh, I think I'm satisfied with that now let's take a look at the top this branch here grows downwards I would like to keep it a little bit up So this kind of spreaders work well for this uh, to direct the branch to grow upward in this case. Let's see. Okay. Again, this is a last year growth. I'm gonna prune it now. Two buds, one at a node and one the second bud right after it. And you can see now the sap is starting to flow, so they are beginning 
to awaken again this branch here this is the last year growth maybe I should do this branch first from here hopefully you can see all of these angles that I'm showing you now it's hard to see maybe all right and again any branch that grows inwards will be removed like that small branch there even this one here this one however has a small breva let me get that for now this is the last year growth from here to here there is a node right underneath and I will prune that node and then you can see that this node this branch grows into that one there next to it however I actually do not like this branch and also I will prune the tip and let me just do the last one look these are all having small internodes very short this one is the one that has breva so I will keep that one and uh, let's take a look I'm gonna just rejuvenate that one this one a small one that grows upward I will be remo removing that one and then also the one in the back again this branch grew last year from here so just after the first note I will remove okay and now we can take a look at the tree after pruning I think this was the position when I first started take a look I really do not like that branch that grows downwards so that one will be removed I left one uh, just a bud at the base this is a very small branch and uh, I can leave them like that that's it let me just move the camera back and now you can see that the tree is more compact I can possibly even go later and decide if I'm going to remove any more than this for example right there I can see there is no point for me keeping that uh, small tip right there and that's it this was Hardy Chicago number one thank you for watching if you like this video please give a like and subscribe thanks see you bye bye